In this quick tutorial for new Blender users, I'll cover small details that I use within Blender to help me move through the scene and get things done a little bit. And you should be familiar with all the tutorials that I ran for 2.63a, and it's in a playlist on my uh, channel. So in this case, let's just add a simple object to the scene. We'll just add a cube. Well, where's the cube? Okay, so it's not there. Remember, Shift S, S cursor to the center and then shift s selection to the cursor like that that brings it back into the scene sometimes it's out of view like this so when you move things notice i've always been using this manipulator here which is for moving things around up and down but you don't only have to use this manipulator down here on the taskbar not on the taskbar but here on this toolbar here and notice i have it set for 3d manipulator and right here it says translate so instead i can change it over to here for rotation and then just by grabbing these like this i can rotate it on these axes like that all right now some people work in this mode all the time it doesn't whatever you prefer i happen to like staying in location mode and in the same vein you can work in scale mode like this and this looks like the previous one but notice this one has arrows and this one has these squares at the end and it just allows you to instantly uh, scale your object like this all right so let's go back into this one right here for translating it there's also another way you can move things first of all remember we did the G key and then you can move it of course you press Y it constrains it to the Y axis and if you press shift Y instead it constrains it to X and Z like this alright so that's one way but there's also something you can do like for instance I can grab this object like this I'm holding down the right right mouse button and without letting it up I just start moving it and then I've let go of the right mouse button and now it's moving without it ever doing it so instead of having to click the object pressing G and then moving it I just select the object keep the mouse button held down start moving it and now I've released the button and now I'm just moving it like that okay so that's just a couple of ways to help move things around in case you need it and also uh, you can always constrain things to other axes like the local axis but remember if you haven't seen that tutorial when you go to local axis now notice how the axes are oriented they're oriented with the object alright so just as a reminder in case you haven't seen the other tutorial if I wanted to move it in, in this Y direction, if I press G and then Y, notice it's using the global coordinates like that. So I have to press G and then Y and then Y again, and then I can move it on the local axis. All right. Well, that's it for this quick tutorial, and um, I'll see you in the next one shortly.